Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Jeff Higgins from Higgins Storm Chasing. It is Tuesday, the 28th of the 3rd, 2017. Okay, guys, if you'd like to support us and gain access to our detailed maps and forecasts, please head over and become a premium member. You'll also see free blogs on our website, higginsstormchasing.com. We have free forecast blogs over there for the large areas of um, rain that's forecast to impact Queensland, large parts of Queensland over the next few days. Right, let's have a quick look at Tropical Cyclone Debbie because in this video I will focus on the forecast for central and southeast Queensland. Severe Tropical Cyclone Debbie, Category 4, winds to 270. Are still, she is still slowly crossing the coast uh, there at the Whitsunday Islands, Early Beach to Bowen and near Mackay to the north of Mackay while slowly tracking towards the southwest. Once she uh, her eye fully goes over land, which is starting to do so now, she will um, begin to weaken from a Category 4 down to a 3, 2, and then become an XTC and then track out here over southeast Queensland. That was from Weather Zone. Let's have a look at the Weather Zone radar as well here, guys. Uh, this is a live view at um, 2 p.m. on Tuesday afternoon. You can see the eye wall region there just crossing through Possipine, Bowen, uh, Dingo Beach, Airlie Beach, Hayman, Hamilton still getting pummeled. We have some concerns for Proserpine due to significant damage there. And I recently just did an update showing the um, there's vortices wrapping around. There's very destructive vortices wrapping around in, in the internals of the eye wall at the moment. They're very, very tight spiral vortices that may bring uh, destructive wind gusts to 250 or 70 k's an hour in those vortices in that eye wall region as she continues to track inland. Right, we'll head over here to the official warning and you can see she is still a Category 4. She's come in as a Category 4, wobbled around a bit and went straight over the top of the Whitsunday Islands and is now going down over the top of Proserpine. She will and is forecast to go over the top of Collinsville uh, later tonight um, as about a Category 2 system. So again, destructive winds for Collinsville and then out through um, north of Moranbah and down in between Longreach and Emerald. We'll get to that now. So let's pick her up on the forecast map here from BSCH. This is the GFS model, and it is 1 p.m. today, so current. And you can see the um, the eye region of the cyclone there is, in fact, over the, the Whitsunday region and, and central coast. So if we scroll on to later on to 10 p.m. tonight, she can see that she continues to track inland while weakening uh, to the north of Moorumbah over the top of Collinsville, um, and you can see the spiral bands there. Heavy rain is also forecast to come down the coast in the convergent zone, maybe down as far as um, Fraser Island there tonight, guys. There's a heavy rain band pushing through um, the, the, the Capricornia and Wide Bay Burnett at the moment. Now, this is warned for destructive winds, which has the potential, these showers and thunderstorms and rain areas have the potential to cause water spouts, and when they hit land, they are a tornado, and they may do some damage. Uh, we only really expect them to be weak, um, but they still can cause damage, and there is a warning out for that region there. It's due to the convergence and turning in the winds, guys. As we scroll on to um, 4 a.m. on Wednesday morning, you can see that XTC or TC Category 1, maybe, Debbie or 2 there, is just to the northwest of Moorumbah on forecast data, and then she will begin to turn and track towards the south on Wednesday, which I will show you. Now, areas from about Cairns, Townsville, Mackay, uh, down to Rockhampton and Bundaberg, you will come under a northeast flow, which may generate further rain areas, showers and thunderstorms along the coast, all right, as this system moves inland and winds swing back around to the north. You can see there's a good trough line there all the way from about Cape Flattery through Cairns to Towns, which may develop some thunderstorm activity. Um, now, any of these thunderstorms may also contain water spouts and tornadoes right along the coast due to the convergent zones and turning in the winds, guys. Not much we can do about them. Uh, the bomb will warn them and, and we'll certainly share them up. But we have put out the, the message there that they will be possible. And um, you've just got to keep an eye out on them, guys, and avoid them if, if you do see them. All right, Thursday morning at 4 a.m., you can see that the system is, in fact, forecast. Again, forecast may change. We don't expect change too much, but between Longreach and Emerald, I'll get on to rainfall in a minute. This is just showing you where uh, XTC uh, Debbie will track on a forecast scenario, which it should be pretty close to being near to the money now. Um, 
and in between uh, Emerald and Longreach there with this onshore flow, really strong onshore flow there, guys, um, all the way down the Queensland coast, even right down into southeast Queensland, northeast New South Wales. 4 p.m. on Thursday, I think we will pick up the system on my other browser. Yes, we will. We'll pick up the system there. Um just to the south of the west of Emerald, sorry, 4 a.m. Now, the system undergoes a change uh, during Thursday from a, an X-tropical or an XTC or a, a subtropical low into a trough. You can see the trough is forecast there to be about from, from Port Macquarie through to Gundawindi, up into Roma and around to Room with all this convergence and and strong winds coming on shore here, guys. This is what will trigger the heavy rainfall through southeast Queensland on Thursday and Friday. You can see that anywhere to the north of the trough on Friday, so the trough would be currently located across southeast Queensland early Friday morning, all right? Anywhere to the north of that trough, the winds then turn to drier, much drier and stable southwesterly winds, all right? So we should be in for a relatively fine weekend right across Queensland once this system spits back out over the ocean. Now, it will not develop into a cyclone again or come back because conditions are unfavourable. There is too much vertical wind shear and sea surface temperatures, even though they're probably sitting around about the 26, the vertical wind shear will not allow that to happen. Let's move on to the rainfall forecast now from the Bureau. This is for the next four days. I will stress that. This is including today, Tuesday, out to Wednesday, Thursday, and including Friday, the next four days to Friday, 10 p.m. This is the area for immediate concern through central and southern parts of North Queensland, mainly central and central inland Queensland, where very heavy rainfall is forecast to fall. Anywhere up to 400 millimetres there, guys. And then the system, as I showed you, as it tracks down between em Emerald and Longreach, and then in as a trough through southeast Queensland, it is also forecast to produce heavy rainfall across most of southeast Queensland, pretty much all of southeast Queensland, central Queensland districts for the next four days. All right, so we really expect the rainfall to kick in. Here it will start tomorrow afternoon in southeast Queensland through here and then really ramp up on, on Thursday, Thursday night and Friday morning through southeast Queensland districts as the XTC become low into a trough, spits out off the coast and, and produces all this rain activity. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, there also is likely to be severe thunderstorms in this. All right, we do have some in high instability levels and... Um, we, we are expecting to see some severe thunderstorm activity through central and southeast parts of Queensland over the next four days, and those thunderstorms will likely to be contain heavy rainfall, flash flooding, and damaging winds. It's too warm for hail. All right? So just repeating, significant rainfall forecast for most of central eastern Queensland out to about Longreach, Okay. I'll bring it up a little bit closer just so that you can see it. We'll go forecast rainfall for, we'll go tomorrow. And you can see that as, as XTC Debbie moves inland, this region in here around CQLD, east of Longreach, uh, comes under the pump for very heavy rainfall up to th uh, 300 mil there on a daily total. So Emerald heavy rain, Moorumbah, Bowen, Mackay, St. Lawrence continuing heavy rainfall. And then slowly starting to spread down here into southeast Queensland districts from the north, uh, down in there through uh, the Wide Bay Burnett and, and edging down towards Brisbane uh, late tomorrow night. Um, now, if we progress on, sorry, this is all live, guys, so I'm just going to click through. On Thursday, um, rainfall should start to ease through from Bowen to Rockhampton, and then the heavy falls be focused from Rockhampton to Emerald South, including inland, southern inland Queensland. Uh, Roma, um, Gundawindi's on the edge of it, Dolby, Toowoomba, their areas of 100 mil for the day, and southeast Queensland, their areas of 150 to 200 under locally heavy falls there in southeast Queensland districts in the southeast coast districts, Brisbane, Ipswich, Gold Coast, and the Sunshine Coast, 
They're edging into northeast New South Wales as well, their daily total. So you can see there's quite a lot of rain coming, guys, um, over the next four days for us down here in southeast, certainly in central east, but also for southeast now. Um, we don't expect river flooding, but we do expect flash flooding. And you can see there that even on Friday, there are still areas of 100 to 150 mils focused through the southeast coast as the system contracts to the southeast and offshore. Let's have a look on Saturday. Quickly, almost rain-free. All right. Probably a fine sunny weekend, except for up here in the peninsula where the monsoon trough may trigger further showers and thunderstorms. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget... You can support us and all of our very hard work over here by, on our HigginsStormTasting.com site by becoming a premium member for 27 bucks a year and you gain access to our detailed forecast, cyclone forecast, rain forecast, storm forecast mapping as well and text and email alerts. But there are there is free content on our homepage here as well that have this rain covered uh, here as well as along with this video. We are thinking about the people up here in the Proserpine, North Queensland region, especially through the Sundays and Airlie Beach, Bowen, Mackay. They're really, really under the pump today and there's some really nasty weather uh, impacting that region. And our thoughts are with them. We hope that they remain safe and unharmed. There is certainly going to be one hell of a clean-up job that is going to last for weeks and weeks on end up there, guys. All right, so we'll try and get behind them and support them and share any... any, any um, recovery activities that we can find we'll, we'll put up to page so you, we can all have an opportunity to support their cleanup as well all right thanks for watching guys and stay safe